What's your joke, T? Yeah, she does a skeleton way. Who going? Fishy! Yeah. I wasn't all for it. And Ireland is finishing up the last of her chores. Aspen still has something to do yet. Ayo! 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 Good morning, everybody. So we are starting our school day with Aspen, who is dragging all kinds of toys into the schoolroom this morning. So today I started, and over the last few days, I have been doing a new schedule. I am crazy here this morning. I need a haircut. Hello, look at you. You look all handsome. Oh, busy. What's wrong? It's busy. It's busy? Yeah. You mean it's not sitting right? Yeah. Anyway, now that his chair's fixed, we have been working Hello. on a new schedule. Hello. Oh, no. Oh, it's the guys. If I fight all the guys, they fight all my guys, and then I fight them first. And then if you put the rope on him, he'll get down and go to jail. Are you playing Batman? I don't, oh, no! The Batman's out there. I don't know. Anyway, over the last several days, I've been working out a new schedule, so if you've noticed, our vlogs since we went to Statesville have been very short or not vlogs. And it's because I've been working on a new schedule and just trying to get it. I got him! Get it together. Oh, who did? All right, you guys, I gotta show you some reality here. This is what you find. I can clean the room at night and still come in and find stuff like this in the morning. This is usually big kids that do this. So anyway, I've been working over a new schedule, and so I've been just trying to kind of work on that and put together a vlog and just put some short vlogs together so that I can concentrate on that. But we're starting to get underhand. I'm about a half an hour late on where I wanted my schedule because I slept till 6.30 and so I'm getting up you. at 6. I love you guys. It's, oh. it's a guy of a fucking thing if you... Anyway, we are going to get started with school with Aspen this morning. If I can pull him away from the Imagine X guys, we'll see. He's going to do some preschool, so I started a new schedule for him, and I'll tell you guys about that a little bit more later. Right now, he is up and raring and ready to go this morning, so I'm going to see if I can get him set down at the computer. Good job. Are you making a C? Very good. Yep, now you can color your C's. Oh, you're making more C's. Can you make the big C? Can you make the big C? Good job, Aspen. Are you gonna color it in now? Good job. So scientists propose explanations that can be tested by examining evidence. Okay guys, so in or in, in order, in honor of Scaretober, and to show you what I have to put up with during the <laughs> school day, I'm gonna let T tell you her joke. She is the pun master, pun master general. What? Okay. What's your joke, T? She does a skeleton way. I don't know, T. How much does it weigh? A skeleton. I'm going. Fishing! Yay, is Daddy taking you fishing? You want to get a big one? Are you going to catch a big fish? If, the, if there's a tiny or a big one, I want to keep it. Good afternoon, everybody. Hello. Yes, Aspen is in the car with me because we're at the gas station getting a quick soda taking that back for Christy, and me and Aspen are going to go fishing. Yeah. Hopefully we'll catch something, but if nothing hey. else, we're getting out hey. and enjoying the day. If the river's right over there, you better turn that way because I, that's where it is. I better turn that way because it is right over there, isn't Come it? Come here, you banana. So Ireland is banana. shooting fruit for math here. right now. Oh, come here, you apple. Come here, apple. Apple. I don't know this. It's a nine. You do know it. Nine. Plus eight. Twelve. Eleven. I think. 
What's the nine rule mommy taught you? What's one less than this? Yeah. Seven. Okay, now add a one in front of that. Seventeen. Right, that's... Come here, come here little banana. You got it. Here we go, same rule. One less than this. Five. So add a one in front of it. Good job. Me and Aspen are out here and we're gonna do a little fishing, but it is way windier than I thought. And the water temperature is just starting to drop. So there's still a lot of algae. I'll kind of show you, well, you can see it right behind me. There's still a lot of algae grew up over here where we go. And you can see pretty much everywhere you look, there's algae. So it'll be interesting to see if we can even catch anything. Okay, I actually think we got one, so let's check it out. So yeah, we actually got one, as you've seen. So we got a bluegill, not quite big enough for us to keep. Uh, we're going to let him go back and get a little bigger. What do you think, Aspen? I'm going to catch it. Boop, 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 boop. So we're going to let him go back and grow up to a bigger one, maybe next year. No, maybe twice the size. Let's go, let's go, let's try, let's try. Hey guys, so I'm doing something a little bit different with the kids for history and science. I gave them a notebook and they're doing something called notebooking and I actually learned it from another homeschooling channel um, called A Farmhouse Full. And she does notebooking with her kids and so the kids are really excited. So each day what I'm having them do is write the date and then history on one side and science on the other. And they're either writing words or drawing pictures that remind them of something that really stood out in the lesson. So we're still learning about Columbus and what did you, what stood out to you today? There was an island that looked like a fish. There was an island called Cat Island. Cat a bunch island. Of cats lived on it. So he drew a cat in an island. The island looks like a fish. And then Ireland, what did you do? So that's the guy who really liked science. And that's science. Pope Gregory. Yes. And that's the 100 days. That's oh, the 1,000. That's... That's okay. 1,000 days. That's their boat dropping the anchor when they found Cat Island. And that's the people without pleasant clothes. That's the people that weren't wearing very many erase, clothes when they showed up? Can you erase that? Can you erase your zero? Good job. All right, let's hit some science now. So we weren't finished yet. We got one more coming in right now. And again. Is it big? Is it big? It's too small. It's Aspen. Yeah. You got another one? Yeah. Oh, it's windy out. That number three, huh? Still too small, but we're going to put him back and let him grow up, right? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get it. You're going to get it? Well, all in all, me and Aspen, we caught probably around 10 or 12 fish. Nothing real big. He wanted to bring them home, of course. He loves them. But the best part about it was me and him got to come out. He got to see his footies, as he calls fish, and just have a good time. And it's so nice out. A little windy, but it's a nice temperature, and he really had a great time. As I sit here, and listen to the little bitty snores from the back seat. It's truly just a great feeling when you take him out and you enjoy some time with him and then he falls asleep and it's just, he's wore out, he's happy. But while I'm, you know, turning the radio down so that he could fall asleep, you know, the news is always breaking in with with stories around the world and right here in the United States where horrible things happen and you know recently had horrible things that happened out in Las Vegas and you know I look at him and and all the other one of my children and my wife and be thankful for what I have but it also makes me reminds me of why Christy made this channel 
and maybe at first I wasn't all for it um, but it really times like this it makes me really realize why she made the channel and why she named it what she did with love jar vlogs because it's times like this that we're putting them into our love jar and we can go back and and see them no matter how ugly things are in the world or how you know horrible things get we can always come back and and see what we've put into our love jar so times like this really hit home with me and just it's great it's it's wonderful and now I think Christy had some time to do things with the kids schooling so he's about about to wake up so I'm gonna take him on it okay so we've started a new chore routine in the morning and afternoon with the kids you guys and Ireland is finishing up the last of her chores Aspen still has something right, guys so our evening chores are done for the night while well, our afternoon chores T is actually working on her independent school work and then Braxton <laughs> is doing school even though it looks like he's not we're getting ready I'm to just start his school day what are you playing anyway uh, I'm looking at Meverse for the last month it has left. What chore did you have tonight? Uh, what's it called? Cleaning the windows. He had windows and, and door frames, huh? Gang beasts again. That game was funny. I was in, I was hanging on the side of a car, and all of a sudden the cars coming together and squished me, and then I, then I'm like, no, and I lose my grip and fall. Oh. And then you ran over by a car. I think we're watching Blacklist after school. Yes. Mm-hmm. We love our Blacklist. So we're going to get this done so that we can watch Blacklist. <laughs> 